This cosine rule example number two. Go along, draw it out. So slightly different orientation this time. I'll try to remember to put the X in this time because I've probably got it on the last video. Okay, so there's our triangle. Get rid of that. A, B, C. On my vertices, my corners. Um, there's my X. I'll put it in first so I don't forget it this time. Um, this is 85 degrees. Might not look like it, but it's meant to be. 8.2 centimeters and 5.7 centimeters. So again, we've got, there's no instance where we've got an angle and its corresponding side. Just the side, not the angle. Same here, just the side, not the angle. And here I've got the angle, but the side is unknown. And again, if you've got this two sides and an angle sandwiched between them, then Cosine rule is a good option. So go straight into using cosine rule. First thing to do is to write it down. So a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. Now remember the important thing here is that this letter and this angle always match up. Because if we think about labeling our triangle here, when we come to labeling it, we've got Opposite angle A, we want little a. Opposite angle B, we want little b. And opposite angle C, we want little c. So our, there's no point in me putting A in here because I've already got A. So if I'm trying to find this particular length here, then because it's C, I should always try and start with C as the subject. And I can interchange these letters, it doesn't actually matter whether it's A, B, C, D, E, or F. As long as these two things match up, which are now highlighted in red, it's going to work. So because I'm, because I'm looking for C on my triangle, I'm going to use this in this form. So C squared, these two, value, these two letters are the other two lengths, and same here. So long as this matches up on this side with the subject at the start, then it's going to work. So I can use these letters in any order. The letters in the middle, they or they just represent the other sides. And that's how this is going to work. And then I can sub in. So C is little x, is a squared, which is 8.2, plus b squared, which is 5.7. Remember, a is here. B is here, lowercase ones represent the lengths. Minus 2A is still 8.2. B is still 5.7. Then cos of the angle C, angle C, here it is, 85. So x squared equals, this time I'll do this a little bit quicker. I'm just going to put all this into my calculator. Let my calculator do the hard work. 8.2 squared plus 5.7 squared minus 2 times 8.2 times 5.7 cos 85. You get 91.58. Remember, this is x squared, not x. Some values. So square root both sides. Square root of 91 ish is 9.569. And then round it so 9.57 centimeters to 3 sf. Question 2 done.